All right, here we're looking at this Huffy 16-inch bicycle. Let's start by unboxing it, and then we'll see how long it takes to assemble it. All right, we've got some training wheels here. Looks like a seat. A wheel. already assembled here. It's gonna make life easier. Handlebars. Looks like something decorative. And pedals. So there is everything that's in the box. And there's everything out of the plastic. And after looking all over the instructions, they're on the box. Installed front wheel, handlebars, seat, pedals, and finally the training wheels. I actually just found the other man. So, we'll install the front wheel first. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to loosen the nuts on either side of this front wheel. And there are also these washers on, so you want the washers to be on the outside. So we've got this washer here, and that should go through that hole, and you can hand tighten this just like that. And the same on the other side. Got it in the hole and hand tighten it. And using a 5 8 inch ratchet, I'm going to tighten the wheel now. Alright, so we want to spin it to make sure that the wheel spins freely and doesn't contact anything else here. And it doesn't, it's good. Now let's do the handlebar. First, I'm going to remove this cap, which I got it off camera. Okay, probably can't see it on here, but there's this minimum insert distance marking on it. It has to go on at least to that point. Tighten it. Get my same ratchet out. You don't want to tighten it all the way, just enough to hold it into position. So now what you want to do is you want to test it by holding it, just like I'm doing now. Hold it between your feet, the wheel, and then you want to see if you can turn the handlebars without turning the wheel. I can't, so that means it is indeed tight enough. Now for the seat, just like the handlebars, you can't really see it here, but it says minimum insert distance is right here. So I'm going to make sure it goes in here at least that far. I'm going to unclamp that. Let's see if I can get the seat in still. I can still get it in. It's a little bit tighter now. Make sure the seat is aligned. I'll close this clamp. Now it's much tougher. There we are. Now that seat's not moving much there. I can move it a little bit. I don't know if I'm putting too much force or what, but I'm gonna give this just a few more turns. Set it to whatever height you need it at. And then close this clamp. Yeah, I can't get that to move now. That's good. Next up is the pedals. We have a right one with an R and a left one with an L. I'd like to give a shout out right here to the John vs. Machine channel who also has a video on how to change out the pedals on a bike in two minutes or less. So these are threaded on opposite directions. So if I start on the right side, I'm going to start kind of spinning it clockwise. You can see there I'm not actually spinning the nut anymore. So I can do it by hand. It's greasy, so be aware of that. And you want to wear purple latex gloves. And I've got it mostly hand tightened. I'm going to wrench tighten it now. Get it decently tightened there. Make sure the pedal still spins nicely. There we are. And similarly on the left side, I'll take this L pedal. I'm gonna, so I wanna thread this one counterclockwise to get it in. Again, I'm gonna hand tighten that, then I'm gonna use the wrench to finish it off. All right. And that still spins nice. Finally, this is an optional step, but if you're putting on training wheels, we're gonna do that next. I already have a video on putting on training wheels. This is pretty much the exact same process. So just like in that video, we've taken the hardware off. I'm going to leave this nut here. We've got this uh, securing clamp with the tab pointing forward. 
goes on right like that. We're going to put the training wheel on, and we're going to put the original hardware on. Now this is different from the Schwinn training wheels I had in that it's adjustable, it's not just a few discrete holes. So I'm going to position it, I'm going to put it in the full height position, and I'll hand tighten this nut, and finally I'm going to get my ratchet and tighten it fully. Nice and tight, and I'll repeat it on the other side. Take this nut off, have this bracket, uh, we want this to point forwards, train wheel on, hand tighten, and then ratchet it. And now it's wobbling, that's to be expected, because you want your kid to be able to ride using the normal wheels, not the training wheels. The training wheels are just there to catch them if they fall. According to the box, we should be done, but you can see I still have the brake here that has not been used yet. So we need to install this part next. We want to adjust this so that it's in the right position. When it's closed, it should be on the wheel, and you can see the default positioning is not correct, so I need to fix that now. Side. Let's make sure they're both in the right position still. This time I'll be tightening with a 10 millimeter ratchet. Just want to make sure that's nice and secure. You don't want to have any brakes mishaps while riding. Alright, that feels good. On this side. Alright, we're still in place. Good. Now to test them, I'm just going to try to get it out of position. I cannot move that. Try to get this one to move. I really can't move that at all either. Before we can install the brakes, we want to loosen this. We use that same 10 millimeter ratchet to loosen this. Where the, uh, the cable itself is held in place because I want to be able to move this cable. There we are. It's our now loose cable. Put this barrel into the hole and position everything through here. Now we're going to want to rotate this box, and that works. And hand tighten that there. We want the groove to not be open so this can't come off. All right, so what I want to do here is first, looking up here, you want to make sure you have as much space on the screw as you can. So I can rotate this uh, unit up and down. You want it as far down as you can make it go. Then using your hand, squeeze the brakes so that they're closed, and I'm going to grab on this cable with my pliers and pull it tight. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then I'll hand tighten this, and then I'm going to ratchet tighten it. Make sure my ratchet's set right. This again is the 10 millimeter ratchet. Okay, now we want to focus on this part here. So rotate it counterclockwise. So I'm putting more space on this, and this then tightens the brake. I don't know if you can see it getting closer and closer. It's about 1 16th of an inch. So now you don't need to press nearly as tight on your brakes to get the full brake action. Next, you want to position your brakes in a comfortable spot for riding, and then tighten it using a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. And there it is, that's your bike. This bike also has rear brakes on the chain, so you can you pedal forward, you get the tire moving, and then if you pedal backwards, it stops them. That's for the rear wheel, but the forward wheel will still be going. You always want to use the rear brakes first, not your hand brake here, because if you do, your rear brake is still gonna be moving and you could end up losing stability, like having your back shoot up on you. So be sure to let your kids know not to do that. Now I just need to put air in the tires, these are rated for 35 PSI, and we'll be good to go.